What is up guys, welcome back to Dan Reviews, and today we're going to be doing a video for my comic collection video um, update. This is the third one, I believe, maybe fourth, I'm not too sure, but uh, we've done a couple comic updates. Haven't done one in, I believe, um, I've been on YouTube for about three and a half months, and I haven't done one in like two months. So, uh, yeah, I haven't done one in a while. I've gotten a good couple new comics, mainly yesterday I got... A good couple few that I didn't expect to get, so that's awesome. Um, and also got uh, got two comic reviews coming, um, probably one today and then one tomorrow. Um, hopefully two today, if I can get around to both of them. So uh, let's jump in to the comic update video because this is going to be uh, hopefully not too long, but um, going to try to make it as short as possible. So comic uh, spoilers for everything because I might talk about some comic stuff from Walking Dead. I have Outcast comics to show. I have Marvel. I have DC comics and everything like that. So, first one right here, we have kind of, this is just to begin it, uh, just a free comic right here, um, yeah, so, of Batman v Superman, pretty cool, I just picked it up because it was kind of just there, so I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll just pick it up, um, stack it right there. Um, there's, um, A-Force, so here's A-Force, really cool, I do like A-Force, um, really cool, so, eh. Um, then we also have a couple other ones here. Um, we have The Amazing Spider-Man, which is cool. I do like, um, Spider-Man. Um, I, I did do a rant video on Spider-Man, but, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, he, he's not bad, but he's just not my favorite character of not really anything, honestly, so, um, not bad. Um, then we also have Marvel, uh, Termination Part 1, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I do like that. Um, check this out. So we have also Supergirl, which is cool. I do like my Supergirl, so that's cool. Um, we got, hmm, sorry. Um, sorry about backing up, but uh, I have to put them back. So then we also have uh, Dark, yeah, Dark Avengers. I really like this cover, by the way. I need to show this. I really like that cover. Sorry about the glare, but... Yeah, that's cool. That's really, really cool. I do like that a lot. And then we have X-Men. Um, so, some other X-Men comics. I really like that cover, too. I love single-issue cover arts. Like, when it comes to trade paperbacks, they they minimalize the cover. Like, it's not the full... Um, it's not the full page cover. It's actually just a little bit of the... Like, it's just the middle of the book. So, I kind of hate that about trade paperbacks. And I have tons of Walking Dead ones and Invincible ones. So, that's kind of... Stupid in my opinion, but whatever. Um, we also got a couple DC comics. We got Batman. Really cool. Uh, yeah, I do like this one. Um, we got Outcast. Uh, the only issue of Outcast I have. Outcast issue one. Uh, I did read this. Um, it's okay. It's pretty good. I don't know. Um, Outcast is not too bad. It does have a TV show too. I never checked it out. Um, and then getting into the Walking Dead ones, one that I saw yesterday, and this is actually a back issue, um, a earlier issue that, um, well, not too earlier, but you get the idea, um, issue 112, so that's cool that they had that. I'm assuming they had this at the comic shop, mainly because this is kind of where we are right now in the TV show, and I actually am going to do a review just for this issue, talking about this issue in particular, because this stuff is coming up, uh, coming up right now in the TV show, so I might do that. That this is one of the issues that I'm going to review. So that's cool. Um, let's see. We got a couple of the comics here. So we have uh, some All Out War comics. Uh, we have 119. Uh, haven't got any new All Out War comics because I can't seem to find any other ones. So I'm um, gonna keep looking, I guess. But yeah, I want to get as many Walking Dead single issues as possible because I do like the single issues. Even though they're kind of, they're, they're like 22 pages, but, you know, it's it's still cool, I guess. So, um, then we also have, let's see, uh, another All Out War comic, issue 123. I do like this cover, because it has Ezekiel in the middle, right? But then you have the point of view of Dwight behind Dwight shoot, trying to shoot Rick. But then, in this one, you have Rick's point of view, and you have Dwight behind. So that's kind of cool how that's the same shot, but different, you know... One's facing, you can see their faces, and one's behind them. So that's cool. I kind of like that. And Ezekiel's kind of blocking those two camera shots off. So I do like that. Um, 124. Uh, also like this cover. Really cool. You have Maggie. Uh, Maggie. She's pregnant here. I almost said Magna. 
Uh, yeah. By the way, Magna, she's, uh, she showed up in the comics, but, like, she hasn't even done anything since she showed up. You have Negan here at the hilltop, and you have Andrea and Rick here, so, that's cool. Um, and if people don't read the comics, people are gonna be like, what? Like, Andrea and Rick are together? Yeah, just uh, watch my trade paperback reviews. I have all of them in the playlist. At least the first 19. I haven't done 20 to 26 yet, but... Actually, I've done 26, but I'm only going to put it in the playlist once I have all the other ones because I want them in order. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, there's my cover issue 139. Really cool. Um, okay, we're not doing too bad. It's only five minutes, so not bad. Because uh, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, issue 140, really, really cool. Uh, I like this comic as well. Issue 142, which actually I want to talk about this. This is actually really special to me. I know it's, uh, it's just a random issue. It's not even a big issue like uh, 144 or, you know, 100 or 150 or anything. I know that, but this right here, the reason why it's so special to me is because this is the first ever Walking Dead single issue I ever bought. So that's really important. I got this the day it came out and ever since, ever since this got released, which was like two years ago, like over two years ago now, um, I've been collecting these comics. So, uh... Really cool, really, really cool. I do like that. So, um, yeah, uh, that's like the first couple issues I've gotten. So, um, yeah, so let's check out, okay, 145. Oh, man, I'm trying not to drop these. 145, uh, I've had these for a while. These these few coming up here I've had for a while. Uh, I'm just kind of going over the set again because there's certain ones that, um, that are in the set now that I want to show you. So, issue 146, um... Yeah, uh, really cool. Also, 147, really cool as well. Uh, let's see, so we also have issue 148, which this is kind of a cool cover. I do like that alpha, you got alpha crying. They're kind of creepy, but also cool. And then we have one of my favorite covers of all of the Walking Dead comics, and that is 149. Oh, man. Yeah, this is one of my all-time favorite covers for the Walking Dead comic book series. You have no idea how much I love this. When I saw this cover, you know, like, released, like, a couple months before it came out, I was like, bro, I have to get this. And I did the day it was released. I, I love this this issue. It's awesome. Uh, the, the inside contexts are, are, like, you know, regular, like, you know, good. But just the cover, it's just, after, I don't know what it is about that cover I like, but I just love it. I uh, have Dwight here, really cool. I like this issue 155, or not issue 155, issue 151. You have Lucille there, and he's like ready to go. He has his crossbow, he's like in a military outfit. He has a machine gun there, a couple guns, a couple knives, really, really ready. Uh, and then here's a new one I've gotten, um, issue 157. Now, I know people are going to say, um... Man, this is the original cover, right? Um, well, this is the variant cover, and I've had this one for a while, and you guys have seen this if you've seen my other collection videos, but this one right here is, I've never actually owned the official one, because I couldn't find it the day it came out. It was sold out. So luckily, they got more in at the comic shop, so that's that's cool. I'm really happy about that. And then you got the variant with Michelle, which I do like that. That's so sick, by the way. Uh, I like this one, but I also like this one because you have, like, Alpha's head, which is kind of weird, like, she's not even in the issue because she got killed off previous, so, um, that's kind of strange, but they just show the head, and technically the head is in the issue, if you read it, you know what I mean, right? So, that's, that's one thing, I guess, um, let me just grab the other ones because they're kind of far off, so, um, yeah, they're, like, way over there, um, issue 158, which this one, I am so mad about this because my comic shop, they usually always get their issues in. But for some reason, even in an early release time, uh, it sold out very quickly. And I had to order this and it took two weeks. So I couldn't even read the stupid thing. Oh, man. I'm just, I get so frustrated when that happens. Um, issue 159, really, really cool. Uh, I like this one a lot. Yeah, Beta. And you have all of the saviors. This issue is one to remember for Negan. This is the Lucille death uh, issue, right? This is what I call. It. They should have called this one. Um, that usually, usually like when it's like a like 
there's six parts of a storyline. It doesn't have like a title for it. It just says part four, um, or part three, whatever. You know, like it just says part something. Well, in this one, I, I think they should have called every trade um, of a war something because they could have called this one uh, Negan's uh, Beyond or I don't know, so something like that. Like they would call it something about Lucille dying in a way of not spoiling it, if you know what I mean. So they should have, yeah, they should have gave these these story uh, these issues covers or not titles. Anyway, um, I don't know, I'm mixed up today. Anyway, um, then we have issue 159 again, the, uh, Andrea variant cover. Really cool. I love this cover. Andrea from the comics is absolutely awesome. Not as cool as, um, or the TV show is not as cool as the comics. We also have a couple other new ones, um, except this one I got when it was released. Issue 160. I didn't grab the original cover. Once again, wasn't there. So, I got this one. Whatever. Uh, I like this one anyway, though, because it has Rick. So, Rick is awesome. Um, and then the new issue, which I did get at release. Uh, this is issue, well, not at release. I got it yesterday, but, um, yeah, issue 161. And I haven't got, if you guys are wondering where my review was of this, it's because it wasn't there. So, um, yeah, there you go. So, Man, my comic shop's been lacking lately in the last couple months with getting their issues. Uh, they've been getting them, but they've been, like, sold out. I've heard that they, they're stocking some in the back, and they're not even bringing them out until, like, later. I was just like, what's the... Ugh, anyway. Um, like, people like me who want to get their issues, right? Um, so, yeah. Um, there it is right there. I love this cover. So this review will be coming up soon. A late review, unfortunately, but it is coming. So that's the extent of the collection. And I'm just going to try to grab all of these. Uh, man, this this is a lot, man. Um, probably can't hear me very well, but... Oh, my God. That is the amount of issues I have. So, people are going to say, eh, it's not that much. People are going to say, ah, it's quite a bit. Eh, not too bad. To me, this is not bad. Not bad. I almost feel like um, I should have more of this than just two years of collecting, but over time, uh, these are the issues that I've been able to find for Walking Dead and for other comics, so eh, that's what I've been managing to, whenever I see an issue, I grab it, That that's kind of how it goes with me, um, if I don't see it, you know, it's kind of how it goes, so, but I'm a collector, so this is cool, but I mainly collect the Walking Dead trade paperbacks, those are easier to hunt down, but, mm, you know, I kind of prefer reading the single issues, and I always read them, but you know, sometimes I can't find them and I lead, uh, read them late. So, yeah. Check out these uh, comics, guys. Let me know um, what's happened to your comic collection lately. And, uh, yeah, write all that stuff in the comments below. If you like the video, please thumb it up below. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.